the Chicago Bears kept quiet throughout much of Monday's insanity in the NFL until the evening hours approached. The first report that came out suggested the Bears will be signing running back Mike Davis once free agency begins. The second bit of news that hit was the team is set to sign veteran defensive back Buster Scrine to a contract. Scrine is currently viewed as the replacement for Bryce Callahan at the nickelback position. A fifth-round pick of the Cleveland Browns in 2011, Scrine has played in 123 games in his NFL career. After four years with the Browns between 2011 and 2014, Scrine joined the New York Jets in 2015. He has recorded 459 tackles, 3.5 sacks, 79 pass deflections and 9 interceptions in his NFL career. His most productive season came back in 2014 with the Browns. He ended that season with 67 tackles, 18 pass deflections and 4 interceptions. At 5 feet 9 inches and 185 pounds, Scrine has prototypical size for the nickelback position at the NFL level. Not long after the report surfaced on Monday night, many wondered what exactly Scrine's addition means for the Bears moving forward. Is Callahan completely out? Is Scrine going to be solely a nickelback? Scroll below to see some of their reactions following the news that broke on Monday. Yikes! Take it from this. Matt Barbato noted he believes it is a downgrade at slot corner for Chicago to go from Callahan down to Scrine. Callahan was viewed by many as one of the league's top cornerbacks during the 2018 season before he suffered through an injury. Scrine has remained healthy throughout much of his career and that could have played into why the Bears went after him. Going from Bryce Callahan to Buster Scrine is a hell of a downgrade for Chicago. Hopefully Chicago adds competition in the draft. I don't think Scrine is good enough to have a job locked in. Ian Wharton, at NFL Film Study, March 12, 2019 Ian Wharton of Bleacher Report believes going from Callahan to Scrine is a major downgrade for the Bears. In 13 games in 2018, Callahan recorded 45 tackles, 2 sacks, 6 pass deflections and 2 interceptions. His strong play largely flew under the radar on the league's top defense in 2018, Callahan entered last offseason as a restricted free agent and was given the original round tender by the Bears. He did visit the Vikings during the offseason but eventually signed his tender from Chicago. Callahan to Scrine is a massive downgrade. Scrine also has a terrifying injury history specifically with concussions. Not sure what. Roto World 7 Silva does not believe in the Scrine signing, calling it a massive downgrade from Callahan. Silva noted Scrine's concussion history as being something that should worry the Bears. According to this ESPN story, Scrine suffered three concussions in two years with the Jets between 2016 and 2017. He was in coverage versus Miller on one of Trubisky's better TD throws. Was actually good coverage. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash Jacob GTC 9D Adam Hogue at Adam Hoge March 11, 2019 Adam Hogue of WGN Radio pointed out that Scrine was in coverage against Anthony Miller back in October and gave up a touchdown. Hogue also noted that Scrine did have pretty good coverage on the play and it was one of Mitch Trubisky's better throws of the season. Miller did a nice job of setting up near the out-of-bounds marker before Trubisky hit him with a perfect pass on his back shoulder. CB Buster Scrine figures to fare better on the Patrick Finley, at Patrick Finley, March 11, 2019 Patrick Finley of the Chicago Sun-Times brought up one name few have though about in years, tight end Busta Anderson. He was on Chicago's practice squad during the 2016 season and never appeared in a game. He spent part of the 2017 season with the Buffalo Bills and is currently in the Alliance of American Football with the Birmingham Iron. He was recently placed on injured reserve in that league.
Mr. Skrein was the last player left from the secondary spending spree of 2015. He lasted all four years of his contract. Rivas, Cromarty and Gilchrist are all long gone. Brian Costello, at Brianchos, March 11, 2019 The New York Jets tried to revamp their secondary in 2015 and Skrine was one of the organization's big signings. At that time, the Jets had Darrell Rivas, Antonio Cromartie and Marcus Gilchrist. Skrine was one of the four who actually worked out over the course of his four-year deal. Skrine was rarely a big playmaker for the Jets but he was a consistent presence whenever he was on the field. The Bears are hoping for the same from him. Opposing QBs had a passer rating of 124.2 when targeting Buster Skrine last year. But slot corner production can sometimes be a function of how good the rest of a defense is. The while that number is very high, Stankovitz noted some of that can be a product of the defense around him. Luckily for Skrine, he is set to play in a defense that was among the NFL's best last season. Chicago was one of the best at getting after the quarterback and that pressure up front will help take pressure off Skrine in the passing game. This is from 2011, but here's Buster Skrine's pre-draft scouting report from pfwpick.twitter.com slash ito8jax4e, Kevin Fishbane, at kfishbane, March 11, 2019 Kevin Fishbane of The Athletic pointed out what Skrine's scouting report looked like coming out of college. One of the biggest strengths of his game coming out of college was how he was built. He was credited with very low body fat and the fluidity in which he played. A negative for Skrine was his size. He was listed at just 5 feet 9 inches and was said to have a small frame for someone to play the position at the NFL level. CB Buster Skrine has missed 5 games in 8 NFL seasons and drew Matt Nagy's notice last year. More durable than Bryce Callahan. RB Mike Davis fits stylistically with Bears offense but as a complementary piece. Bears wise to keep monitoring expensive safety market. David Ha, at the VHow, March 12, 2019 One of the strengths of Skrine's game is that he has only missed five games in his career. The bad thing is those missed games have all happened over the course of the last few seasons. That durability, as long as it remains, will be something the Bears covet. Callahan was excellent when on the field for the organization, but there was always some worry as to whether or not he could be out there for a long period of time. At Buster Skrine that Lamborghini ain't gone, cut it out here in Chicago fam welcome to the club free admission all year, Taylor Gabriel, at TG date in 1, March 12, 2019 Taylor Gabriel and Skrine overlapped during their time together with the Cleveland Browns during the 2014 season. Gabriel caught 67 passes for 688 yards this past season with two touchdowns. The receptions and yards were the highest of Gabriel's career. The 2018 season marked his first year with the Bears after signing a four-year deal with the Bears last offseason.